What's going on guys? My name is Matthew Gonzali and welcome to a brand new episode of a show that I like to refer to as Reason Slew. In essence, this show is sort of an open letter form of sorts dedicated specifically towards those of you out there watching this who struggle with suicidal thoughts just like I once did myself to remind you that there are dozens, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, dicillion, infinite reasons why you, yes you, should choose life over death. Yes, I'm recording this video just lying on the ground. So, yeah. Now, the topic of today's video is that it's never too late to turn things around. Yep, you heard me right. I know, I know. A lot of us have this hopeless feeling like things will never turn around. And that the only option for us to end this pain is to kill ourselves. And I want you to know that's not the case at all. One suicide attempt survivor to another. That's not exactly how it came. If I... Right now, I would consider myself to be the happiest that I've ever been. I wouldn't say I'm overly content with my life, but I am, relatively speaking, starting to feel happy. And it's sort of an alien feeling to me. I love it, obviously, but just still getting used to it. But anyway, if I had given up all those years ago, I would never have gotten to this point where I'm starting to really, really enjoy my life. And it can be the exact same for you. Now, it might feel like the end right now. Maybe it really does truly feel like the end, but it's not. I promise you. If you decide to keep going, you're going to find that this was only a fork in the road on that journey towards recovery, on your life's journey. Now, I can't promise anything in particular will happen. That's up for you. That's for you to decide and find out on your own. But I will say that things do get a hell of a lot better eventually. It's going to take some time and a lot of work, yeah, but it'll be worth it in the end. I absolutely freaking promise you, my friend. Now, if you feel like you're struggling with a couple different things, whether it be gender-related issues, sexual assault, or suicidal thoughts, please check out the links in the description below. I put links to the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, Crisis Text Line, Trevor Project, Trans Lifeline, and the National Sexual Assault Hotline. Now, I've also included links to their respective web pages so you can do your own research. You know, see what they're about before you reach out because I know it can be a scary thing when you don't know what specifically is going to happen. When you don't know, your mind, while well influenced by these negative thoughts, tends to put a negative spin on what could probably happen. And that unfortunately becomes fact in our minds. I use air quotes to describe that. So do your own research. Knowledge is very much power. Speaking of knowledge is power, if any of you out there watching this are seriously struggling with suicidal thoughts right now, please check out the first link in the description below. It's going to take you to an article by BuzzFeed News that explains in detail what happens when you call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline or the Crisis Text Line. Does a great job of just smacking away, scraping away, whatever you want to call it. Those myths that have come to prevent so many of us from reaching out and grabbing the help that we so desperately deserve. I promise you it's worth the read. Alright, have a good day everyone. My name is Matthew Gonzali, and remember, there's always a reason to smile.